Hi, I'm Heather. I'm one of the systems engineers here at Pessler. Today, we're going to talk about libraries in this tutorial. In PRTG, your device tree has a top-down hierarchy. Well, libraries, I like to call it a horizontal view. It will be additional customized views of how you can view your devices and sensors in PRTG. Let's go take a look. Let's get started with looking at libraries. To access the libraries, you come to the top here of your main menu and just click on Libraries. By default, PRTG gives you a number of libraries out of the box. For example, there's this one here with all memory sensors. So when you come here, I can see my memory sensors no matter where they're at in my device tree, even if they're on different remote probes. And I can go ahead and see them in one view and set up notification triggers in this one view for anything that has a memory sensor. So right now, I want to make a library for my email servers or my email environment. So let's click the blue button up here and say Add Library. I'm going to give it a name and I'm going to just call it Email Library. Then hit the Create button. And the way I'm going to do this today is I'm going to create three groups and then group it by servers, network, and storage. So let's hit the Add Group button at the bottom here. And I'm going to just do it three times so I could put my three groups in there. Then we'll go ahead after that and change the names. All right, so now that the groups are there, let's edit the names. I could do it details and then rename by right clicking. And the first one I'm going to call servers. The second one, I'll right click and do Edit, Rename, and we'll call this one Network. And the third one, we'll call Storage. Okay, now that we have that, let's start adding some of the devices and sensors. We're going to start at the top with the servers group. So on the right side here, I can go down into my relevant servers that I want to add. Of course, the first one's going to be my Exchange server. I'm going to drag and drop and put it right there in the servers group. Sometimes I need to be patient because it does take a second. Also, I'm going to add my two domain controllers. DC2, let's get DC01 in there. All right, that's the servers group. So then now for the networks group, let me close the demo domain and go down to networking. I'm going to grab the switch that I use and I want the traffic on the switch. As well, let's see, let's put in a firewall too. And lastly, let's get the storage in here. Okay, now that I'm done adding it, I can hit my overview tab. And you can see all the relevant pieces of my infrastructure for my email system are here in one library. So it could give me a nice overview of everything there. Then also for my email team, I can easily add notification triggers and send 
any kind of notifications that I want to them so they'll know that their service is up and running. What we're going to do now is create a library with a filter. So I'm going to do this with my disk sensors. So I'm going to hit Add Library, and I'm going to call this Disk Free Library. And we will create. And instead of doing it by groups this time, I'm going to do it by node. So let's say Add Library Node. And what I'm going to do is you could put in a linked object of the node. I'm going to leave root because I want these anywhere in the root. And then I'm going to say show a collection of filtered sensors in the library. And I'm going to show a specific sensor type. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to search for disk free. Now I need to spell it properly for it to come up. That would help. And now I can see all of my disk free sensors in this view. So I'm going to click it up here so they all do get selected. But say if I just wanted SSH or SNMP, I could click on what I want it to. And let's click on Create. And it does take a few moments for it to load, which it did. Sometimes I get extremely impatient. But now if I go to my overview, I could see all of those disk free sensors in my library based upon my filter. And if I want to do any triggers, I can, or I could just have that in my library to reference when I want to look at those sensor types. If you find this video helpful, feel free to like it and consider watching our other videos on our channel. If you still have questions, please contact support at pestler.com. And always feel free to comment for feedback or suggestions for other topics. Thank you.